welcome back friends. So today I've got just a quick little product review that I'm going to be showing you here. This is the Razer Glass File. So I've got some recommendations that came from some people, um, mainly uh, Steve Baker on Facebook recommended it to me. And I'm like, man, this is like 35 bucks. Like it's really worth it. I've got uh, the main one that's, you know, like a third of the price of this guy. And so is it really worth the difference? And so that's what I'm going to review with you today. So first of all, I mean, the look of it's pretty dang awesome. And then the packaging, I mean, the main packaging is not bad as well, but very different from there. Initial impressions, when you kind of put your thumb over the main one, you can tell that there's a little bit of grit to it, but it seems like a finer grit. This, it's like I'm almost grabbing, like getting licked by a cat or something. It's very much more coarse. So it feels like this is almost like an 800 grit kind of situation. This is more like a 400 grit. But let's show you how this thing is in action. So I'm just going to snip even a little bit of gate there with some of these. And I'm using my display or whatever you pronounce them as nippers, which are pretty awesome. Definitely worth the money there. I'm going to try to leave a little bit of nub. Which get some of that. I probably just should have gone for broke and just ripped it off the sprue, even though that's a horrible no-no. So let's see how this mang removes the excess there still there it's a little bit okay pretty good not bad so there's that let's try this side almost there a little bit of remnant right there Oh, pretty good and nice and polished it's pretty good but you know, when we move to here just a little bit more bam uh, maybe just a scotch but you can see how it just eats into it and it's not like it's coarse sandpaper or something that is going to leave all sorts of scrapes Put this in and it gets down to a pretty shiny stub, which see if I can get that to in there. So you can see also the material that's coming off of it. And it leaves you with a pretty nice product right there in the end. So let's do like this side here. So you can definitely tell there's more material coming off with it. So I mean, final product, it's pretty similar. One thing also that I note with this, it's really hard to tell, but there is a little bit more bevel with it. Like you don't have quite this edge effect that you had with this mang where like this edge just kind of messed things up. Like I've actually worked on Actually, let's see if I can find some other clear parts, but you can actually do a bit of the polishing of canopies that I was showing in the Tamiya video. You can do that pretty good with it, but the only thing is it polishes it, but it doesn't remove the excess thickness. So not perfect, but yeah, this pretty cool, but this just takes it to the next level very much goes in, more grit to it, better manufactured, so you get into a better product with it. And you can easily just tell by the amount of material that it'll slough off compared to something like here. It seems more of like an 800 grit kind of thing or something, but it's still a glass file does 
get you that nice polished edge onto it. Could even do some more on there. And I've found some great applications for it. Getting into like wing roots, or not wing roots, um, but the uh, leading edges, trailing edges of, of the wings and making sure you don't have any gaps. Um, I've done some different polishing with some aircraft and just polishing the seams and getting it so the plastic is just shiny when it's meeting up with that. And that's helped out with some ghost seams. So there's some pretty cool pieces for that. It's not just for the Gundam guys. We can use this over in aircraft, tanks, all sorts of stuff like that. Um, building a Sherman for the Plastic Posse podcast. And yeah, we're gonna. I'm going to be using this extensively on the the tracks for that is going to be a this is going to be a time saver when it comes to that so let me know what you guys think if you guys have used this what are some of the things that you've noticed with yours has it been worth the money with it um and go from there by all means this is not a paid promotion or anything i bought this with my own money but it has been a pretty nice investment almost as good as going into getting a good pair of nippers almost that good Definitely I use those more, but it's been a great product. So until next time.